We're following breaking news out of Edmonton. A judge has denied Omer Cotter's request to relax his bail conditions. Laura McQuillan is here with the latest details. So, Laura, tell us more about what the judge said. She said that his current conditions are reasonable and standard, so those conditions are going to remain in place. Let me walk you through what they are. Omar Carter will have to continue to contact his bail supervisor if he wants to leave Alberta and go anywhere else in Canada. He'll also have to be supervised if he wants to speak to his older sister, Zainab Carter. Now, she's been outspoken in her support of Al-Qaeda. She's been investigated over her links to them in the past, and there are security concerns about them having any unsupervised contact. Now, he also wanted to get a Canadian passport so he can make the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. The judge at the Court of Queen's Bench in Alberta today turned down all of those requests so those conditions will remain in place. Now, Carter was at court today, but he did not stop to speak to media outside. His lawyer only said, quote, we're going to review the decision and consider our next steps. You'll recall, of course, a lot of angry reaction last year when the federal government agreed to that $10.5 million settlement with Carter over his rights breaches while he was in Guantanamo Bay. He was jailed there as a 15-year-old for killing a US soldier in Afghanistan. Now he's appealing that conviction. He remains on bail as, as he has been for three and a half years. Those same conditions are going to stay in place. So that's uh, supervision if he speaks to his sister. He must contact his bail supervisor if he wants to travel outside of Alberta. And for now, no Canadian passport, Andrew. Laura, thank you. You're welcome.